the skills test related to percent. And so, you know, things like 60% you know, of something is something else. And I think most of you assumed every time they gave you a number, we were looking for like 60% of that number and supposed to find why. But there are a lot of times where the problem has changed and they tell you what the result is afterwards. And that, that happens throughout math. I mean, you, you get a lot of formulas, and it's not always you just plug things into this formula to figure out the answer. Sometimes you go the other way with that. And so perhaps to help learn that or, or think about that, I have a song. When we are working with a function, we must carefully decide which of all the parts it is that we Provided with the input, perhaps it's the output that they tell. We must look closely so that we can tell. Find Y, find X, find Y. Find x. Functions might go both ways. We must look carefully to find out which of the problem types we have. Find y. Find x. Find y. Find x. Swiftly the problem comes. Not only is that the case in a lot of problems, but like in probability problems, it may be find success or find failure. I mean, a lot of times we'll contrast because sometimes it's easier to figure out one way as opposed to the other. So, sort of a theme for the week is going to be teamwork. And we've already kind of talked about that, that we're all responsible, but if one member fails in that responsibility, there could be consequences for everybody. You know, one person gets sticky stuff on the Wii remote, it's a consequence for everybody. So, I want to be think, and we're going to divide into teams here, but we're going to be thinking about what are things that enhance teamwork and things that detract from teamwork. And we'll put you in some teams to discuss that. But before that, uh, I, I try. I don't always do a very good job. But I try to start every morning um, looking at a Bible verse. And, and this morning I actually did that. And the verse that came up this morning was, Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against one another among your people, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. I'm thinking, we're talking teamwork today. If you're bearing a grudge, or certainly on a team seeking revenge, or bearing a grudge, that is not going to enhance teamwork. Loving your neighbor as yourself is what's going to enhance teamwork. So even here we sort of see that contrast of, Here's something we can do that would enhance teamwork. Here's something we do that would detract from teamwork. And, and we should constantly be thinking, okay, I need to do this to enhance the team. I need to avoid this for detracting from teamwork. So I just thought that fit very well with what I want to talk today about teamwork. So now we need to divide into teams and to kind of mix you up. So some teams we'll divide kind of based on to get a good spread of mathematical abilities. Other teams just to, to kind of mix you up so you're meeting with other people. So 